We're doing something a little bit different for our well-read segment this month, focusing on one read, and it is the new book from best-selling author Chantelle Gurton. She joins us this morning with more on the just-released Two for the Road. And I got to thank you in person for <laughs> writing this because it was so much fun to read. Oh, thank you, Annette. That's really nice to hear. Like, you write a book and you hope that people read it and that they'll like it and it will resonate. Um, so it's really nice to hear that. So it's a rom-com mm -hmm. and it's set in England. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a book I decided to like take on the road. It's a woman who owns a romance bookshop in Ann Arbor, Michigan. She loves love stories and she has sort of fallen in love with the voice of an audiobook narrator. And instead of her friends saying like, that's crazy and like you need to stop listening to that voice and like date people in our town, they sort of rally behind her because I wanted to explore that idea of like the what if and that leap of faith you take for love. And mm -hmm. so they buy our ticket to go to England and try to meet the guy. Oh, that's very, very cool. And, and you wrote this in England. So yes. we've got a great picture here of your, your <laughs> laptop in a window over. Now, which, which town okay, or which city is this? Okay, this is a town called Lyme Regis, and it's right um, on the coast, right in the southern part of England. And I so I set out in the book, and if you, you pick up the book, there's a map of the tour they take for 10 days. Because she's on a coach tour. She's on a coach tour, so stops along the way, and this is one of the stops and it's really fascinating um, because there's fossils here so dating back like millions of years on the beach that you can look for so it's so rooted in history and um, the tour I created is um, Spire Shires and Shores and this is actually another town West Bay and that is very famous from the, the show Broadchurch so that takes place in this town so you could see actually all of the little spots and one of the girls on the tour goes on this tour this here is Canterbury so they go punt I Hunting, this is actually is... I was on this boat and um, that's like a very romantic scene. There's a bunk beds feature yes, in one bunk scene beds yes. in Brighton. <laughs> so they, you know, there's a room problem and two of the characters have to share bunk beds. So a lot of it I really had to go and that um, felt like to get the inspiration for the book and going there just set me in that idea because England is very different from Canada and you can't imagine like everything and I wanted it to feel real sort of somebody in England or had traveled there a lot um, went, read it they would feel yeah. like this so you got real. to go to a lot of bookstores like the yeah, crooked house the crooked house you can see this is like a very like the house is it, they sort of say it's like falling into the street and um, so that features in the book as well of course she goes to all these towns and she just wants to go to bookstores and at one point somebody says like you own a bookshop like haven't you seen them all you know this is another tour. I took a little bike uh, ride in this town called Hythe along the Royal Military Trail. Um, and uh, so as I wrote that book, like the scene came to me there. So really, um, I, I thought it's sort of like, it's, it's a journey book and it's like sort of a, if you love travel books, I hopefully you'll like sink into that. I just felt post pandemic, we just wanted to get out of our homes and sort of feel like we're we can indulge in like mm -hmm. seeing things. Yes, yeah. and and it's a nice it's a nice light read. It's it it it's a feel good story and 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 just you know all the different characters that the main character meets on this bus tour they all play a part in this in her story as well. Yeah, which I think that's the thing when you travel too you can set out what you think is going to happen on your own vacation, but it's the people you meet yeah. and the things that really actually change your own experience. Right. And you've got an experience where you can meet Chantel, find out more about the book in your hometown of St. Catharines. Yes. Coming up at the chapters. Yeah, in the St. chapters Catherine. at the Fairview Mall on April 20th at 6 p.m. I'm going to be there with um, Marissa Stapley, the best selling author. She's awesome. going to do, we're going to chat about the book and um, travel. And so if you love to read or you love to write, um, I love just like talking okay. about all that. All right, Two for the Road by Chantel Gurton out now. We'll get all the details up at chch.com.